Yeah, yeah, but let's let's talk about your president for mm -hmm. a moment. And first, let's talk about the, the 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 business of being president of France right now, mm -hmm. because for all the all the publicity he's getting about his love life, um, the reality is that that there's a lot of work to be done in your country. You've got your own economic problems. You've got your own. I mean, you you felt the effect of our own mortgage crisis and mm -hmm. the subprime loan mess. Mm -hmm. How did that how did that affect France? How did that translate to France? Maybe not as much as we we, we feared because in fact our, our, most of our banks were, were rather cautious about subprimes. Mm -hmm. So they haven't uh, been too affected by that. Societe Generale I was just going to say, except maybe there was one where <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I think it's a different problem. It's as, a different as problem. You know. Yeah, maybe uh, they should have. <laughs> right, right. Uh, but it's a different problem. But in fact, the losses uh, through the subprime crisis in our, in our backing uh, system hasn't been too much. There has been some, but nothing of the, the same magnitude as, as here. Uh, but uh, it is true to say that we are looking uh, uh, very closely if uh, you go on having a reduction if you in your economic growth, uh, how would be the consequences for, for, for Europe, for France, but all for the other right. European countries? Because usually there are some consequences, of course, because of the uh, importance of uh, American economy, imports, exports, etc., yeah. uh, the links that uh, you, your, your business has with, uh, with uh, uh, businesses in, in, in Europe. There are always consequences. For the time being, we're watching very closely, but uh, we have set up our forecast for our economic growth of one two percent or something like that for 2009. But we have to watch very closely if we will manage to get it. Mm -hmm. Is it true about a billion dollars in goods go back and forth between our country each every day? day? Every yeah. day. Yeah. If you look at all the um, imports and exports, uh, and secondly, uh, if you look at the uh, business that is being done on both sides of the uh, Atlantic, don't forget that we have something like. Uh, uh, 450,000 uh, people uh, being employed here mm -hmm. in the United States through French firms. And the other way around in France is something like 550,000 uh, 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 jobs. So uh, we're pretty much uh, working together. Are yeah. we still the largest investor in France, <coughs> America? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you are the first one. You're not far away, but we have, of course, Germany, who is an important investor, of course, mm -hmm. uh, uh, because of uh, European reality today. Now we have uh, France, for instance, makes half of its foreign trade with its European partners. With its partners, mm -hmm. and that's and that's worked out well. But what what mm -hmm. are the uh, on Sarkozy's plate? What are, mm -hmm. what are the biggest issues facing the French government right now? Oh, it's it's very simple. We uh, we um, have. Uh, too few people working too few hours. <laughs> uh, so we have a problem of unemployment. Yeah. <laughs> Even if an unemployment is fortunately uh, decreasing at the moment in France, but was still around 8% of, uh, of unemployed in, in France. So we would like to bring that down to the same rate, more or less, as you have in your country, 4 to 5%. Mm -hmm. And then we have to make people work more because we have, you know, this uh, strange legislation that was passed in our country. We thought we were the most clever all around the world, so we decided to go for 35 hours a week. Uh, and in fact, we have found out that didn't bring new new jobs, and that uh, so in fact people are working more than that. But those are considered as uh, supplementary hours, additional hours. But so we, so we have to put more people on on working. We have to work more. What, what is the French work ethic? Oh, they work rather well. Uh, contrary to what everybody believes, I'm, I'm quite <laughs> stuck by that. Uh, you, you know that we are maybe the first country in terms of productivity per hour. Right? So maybe we don't work enough hours, but each hour is it's very... It's that you look like you're enjoying yourself so much, maybe. <laughs> no, I'm told, I'm, I'm, everybody tells me that I'm a work alcoholic, so I... Uh, is that so true? I'm not, I don't know. I, no, I, no, I don't think it's true. <laughs> But uh, but French do work, uh, but at the same time they like to enjoy life. So maybe that's because we like to take a two-hour stop for for lunch. Everybody thinks we don't work, but contrary to you, and I think you're very wise in that, uh, we work very late. Um, in, yeah, uh, in but I have a feeling you don't mm. take two hours for lunch. Uh, no, because I'm in America. Because you're I have American to adapt now. to. Yeah, you take ten minutes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> there should be a compromise somewhere in between. When when Sarkozy mm -hmm. offered you the job, did he say to you, uh, 
And by the way, my personal life might get complicated and get in the way of the. We headline. didn't get into that. We didn't that. get into that. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 th that must be difficult, though, as a, as a diplomat, when 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 you know you have a new administration and the and the most that the media is interested in is the president's personal life. No, I don't. I don't think so, really. Uh, I don't think so because it's rather easy for for us to uh, to answer all those questions by saying it's uh, really a private life uh, mm -hmm. and uh, leave him alone. <laughs> but <laughs> let him decide what he wants to do. <laughs> yeah, but that never happens, of course, does yeah, it? No, they go on asking questions. We could go yeah, on answering. Here I go. <laughs> um, have you have you have you met your new first lady? No, I never had. I, I bought her records a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> I, I did too. <laughs> Because I, I'm always very much interested in music, so I thought it was interesting to mm -hmm. see what she was doing. And did you and, like her uh, music? Yeah, I think it's right. And she has uh, worked a lot with uh, and made uh, the, the the musician, the guitarist, who her help her to make her arrangement is uh, is very well known in France. He's called Louis Bertignac, and he's one of the best rock guitarists in France. Another one I of must your say favorites. So. Yes. One of my favorites. I love to play like he does. But. Uh, when will um, when will uh, President and Mrs. Sarkozy come to America? Uh, I don't know. The president is supposed to come. Uh, that that is what is for the time forecast uh, for the um, in September for mm -hmm. the uh, uh, General Assembly of the United Nations, as he usually does, and to give the speech for for our country. So that should be uh, around mid September. Will she? Will he be joined by his wife? This I can't tell. Hmm. Will you be encouraging him to bring her? <laughs> I just let him do what he thinks <laughs> is best suited. There will be a lot of interest here. No, don't I'm you very think? cautious. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and you're and you're doing a wonderful job. <laughs> but I was I was over at the um, embassy when he made his first visit since becoming mm -hmm. president, mm -hmm. and and you would have to say his greeting was something like that of a rock star. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. it was everybody was very excited mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I would imagine if he came with her it would be triple that don't yeah. you think mm -hmm. maybe we should try to rent another another, another place embassy <laughs> larger, larger. ask the Italians <laughs> if they'll go into partnership with yeah, you and maybe try. she can stay over <laughs> at her embassy and he can stay at his <laughs> no, so. you anticipate that. better uh, relations not that you have bad relations but do you anticipate yeah. an even better relationship with Italy now that you have an oh, Italian first lady very close relations with Italy uh, already. Anyway. Uh, now, uh, even before we were both together in the uh, in the European Union, but since we have been in the European Union, we, it's, it's maybe one of the two or three countries mm -hmm. which we have the closest links, of course, because they're our neighbors. And you have a mm -hmm. lot of experience with the EU. Mm -hmm. You were in Brussels for how many years? Tw I went twice there. The first time I spent four, four and a half years. On the staff. And, uh, and the staff, and the second time as, as ambassador for two years and a half. And mm -hmm. um, has the EU turned out to be a wonderful thing for Europe? I think so. I think so. I mean, it was, it, it's really the, um, um, the dream of our generation. I mean, the generation the, of our fathers who went mm -hmm. through the wars. And also of the, you know, the baby boomers. Yeah. Don't you uh, miss the Frank? No, no, not really? too much. Not it's too so much. Pretty. Not too much. It was pretty, but <laughs> but Euro. You see, Euro. It's um, if you look at it from a very practical. Point I don't of view, get to because I can't afford it. <laughs> when you are a French and you have your, this Euro in your pocket and you can go to twelve or fourteen countries now, and just keep on with the same currency, it's very practical. In the mm -hmm. most uh, mm -hmm. simplistic ways, mm -hmm. has it? just made life easier as a European? It has. It has one, and we've seen that since then, at least in France. This is maybe the only negative side of, of Euro, is that it has increased prices. You know, at the time when we went right. to Frank to the Euro, some of the uh, retailers have decided to increase their prices. And this is why I must say Euro hasn't been very popular with the French public opinion for some time. Uh, but at the same time, we've been trying to explain then that since we had Euro, France has gone through all major financial disorders or financial mm -hmm. turmoils without uh, too much difficulty. Or France has uh, 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 
difficult history of uh, of uh, uh, currency devaluations along the years since since 1945. Uh, we were considered as the uh, as the weak uh, mm -hmm. country uh, in. Uh, in in Europe and the French franc was always considered as a as a weak country, as a weak weak currency. Sorry, and we have changed all that since then. And now, of course, we have uh, uh, adopted the necessary economic and financial policies for that. 